Hey, there you are. So, have you found the answer to my last question about the jungle? Oh! Oh no! It took me hours to make that. Remember when we looked at all different parts of a forest? Just like these Jenga blocks, all the parts of a forest are connected to each other in what we call food chains. And just taking out one part of these chains can affect the entire forest. Look at this Jenga tower. What's the most important part of this tower? The base, right? Because without it, you wouldn't have any foundation over which to place the other blocks. Similarly, the plants in a forest are like the foundation. They absorb the energy from the sun and pass it on to the other animals that eat them. The blocks that depends on the base are like the animals that need plants as food. Do you remember what we call animals that eat plants? Yes, they are called herbivores. And what do you call the animals that eat herbivores? <laughs> right, they are called carnivores. And we have more animals that eat these animals and so on until we get to the very top of the tower. But now what? If we used all the blocks to make this tower, no one would be able to play Jenga again, right? There has to be some way to start over. This is where our friends, the decomposers, come to the rescue. They are tiny microorganisms that change all dead plants and animals to a soft and dark soil called humus. So just like the Jenga blocks, they take apart the dead remains into tiny nutrients and return them back to the soil, which can then be used by plants to grow again. But it's not just the living things like plants and animals that get recycled in this way to keep the forest growing. Even gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen have a cycle. So, you see, nothing ever stops or ever goes to waste in the forest. Everything, living or even non-living, keeps being recycled and moving through the forest. That's why some people even call the forest a dynamic living entity. Because it keeps moving like a living organism. But each and every part of the forest is equally important, right? Sadly, the world's an unfair place and trees get the VIP status. That's because not only do trees soak up the energy that drives the forest system, it also stops rainwater from washing away the soil at the forest floor. So trees help prevent soil erosion. Have you ever tried pulling out a plant by the roots? It's difficult, right? That's because the roots of plants hold on to soil really tight and this too stops the soil from being washed away by rains. The trees also help rainwater seep into the soil and prevent floods. Can you imagine what would happen if all the forests suddenly disappeared? What do you think would happen? We'd have trouble breathing and it would get really hot. That's because there would be fewer trees to make oxygen for us and less carbon dioxide would be taken up from the air. Since carbon dioxide absorbs heat from the sun, this would cause the earth's temperature to rise. Our cities, towns and villages would be flooded because there'd be no trees to soak up the rainwater. Moreover, hundreds and hundreds of animals, birds and insects would become homeless and would probably die. Even though forests are really good at taking care of themselves, they need our help to take care of them and we definitely need them. So we can all learn something from Mowgli. If you protect the forest, it will protect you. And you should love all animals and plants as your own. As for the answer to my question, the Jungle Book is based on the forest of Pench in Madhya Pradesh. I'll see you next time. Bye.